hello and welcome to this little MIA update. Um, and I'm so pleased to be able to be chatting to John Linzak, the CEO uh, of NAM. It is CEO, isn't it? CEO and president. Yeah, I tend to drop that bit. I don't know if president's maybe a term that you want to be using right at the moment. Oh, this took about five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to get in there quick, haven't I? I've got to get in there. I've got to get in there quick. Anyway, we're back for a chat with John. And that's because we are, what, 10 weeks out from the NAM show? Nine. Is it nine? Nine. We have a little counter in the office. Oh, yes. Nine weeks out from the damn show. Uh, so we wanted to just to catch up and uh, get a, get an insight from you about what folks can expect. Obviously, there'll be a load of people who have planned on coming already, loads of people who will still be making decisions. And I've spoken to quite a few people this week in, in the sector that still are making decisions about attendance and how many people from business are going to come, including, uh, including themselves. So this is probably is really timely. We've been chatting a bit. Would it be fair to say that this is probably the, it feels like the first proper NAM show post pandemic? Does that make any sense? I think that's a fair statement because the, the plans for attending the NAM show, at least from the manufacturers and exhibitors, are 12 to 18 months out. I yeah. mean, and and, and and sometimes, you know, eight months out, but, you know, six months before a NAM show is too soon to try to make a decision and get a booth together and all of that. So even, you know, January 24, you know, the, the society was out of COVID, but the decisions to go to NAM happened early, you know, early in 2023 and before that. And and for NAM, you know, the, the strategy to get through this was June, April, January. I was hired in the middle of that cycle, mm. uh, just before the April show, but it was June 22, April 23, January 24. That's the path. Go. Three shows, 18 months. And so I, I think it's fair to say for those reasons that, you know, everyone coming back to the NAM show this year, they've made the decision to come to NAM because of those aren't pandemic decisions. Those are new business decisions. So, yeah, I think it's a, a fair statement. With that in mind, you're welcoming back a load of folks who perhaps haven't uh, sort of, um, what's the word I'm looking for, who haven't uh, been part of the show as exhibitors. They're not exhibited for that period. Exactly. We're we're so happy. And again, I've you know been, been traveling a lot. We've talked to a lot of companies. One of the things we've done over the past two years is just talk to companies and say, what does, what does a NAMM show, what does a gathering look like for you? in the new normal, whatever that may be. And of course, two years ago, no one knew what the new normal is going to be, but we've, we've kept that up. And we have, I mean, when I say everyone, I mean, of course, you know, I was visiting visiting you and we have, you know, Marshall and Orange and, and that group. Marshall had a big press release last week about their comeback to NAM and their excitement there. We're excited to have Orange. We have a lot of companies. We have obviously the Fender story, but we have Roland um, and music brands, all of them, uh, you know, Music Tribe, Behringer, Midas, that whole area. So, I mean, really, a, even down to the the big pro audio, when you have like L acoustics and, and speakers. So we're we're excited all the way through that we have everyone coming back, and everyone's coming back for 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 various reasons. Uh, overwhelmingly, it's it is actually about dealers, and I say actually because I and I know there's been some some talk in the industry of like, oh, the big brands are coming back and. It's about, you know, NAM's consumer. Like, NAM's not a consumer show. In fact, the conversations we've had with the brands, large and small, and in between about coming back, the the value proposition and, and our part of the equation is to ensure that they get the customers they want to get. They're showing up and spending money to meet people that's going to help their business. In every conversation, I've said, who do you want to see? Because, you know, supplier's job, show up at the NAM show, NAM's job, get the audience to them. They're coming back to see dealers, distributors, and high, high level artists and influencers that can drive brand demand. That's what we hear. I've had so many conversations of we don't want a lot of consumers. We don't want a lot of tire kickers. We want to have real, real business conversations. So I think that's exciting because it's almost like going back to the core of NAM. And when you look at you know the size of the NAMM show in 2025 and, and here in nine weeks, we're going to be just as big as before when it comes to the core industry, which is suppliers, retailers, distributors, manufacturers, reps, that area. We're really focused on high-level influencers, artists, 
and we're we're controlling everything we can to make sure that we don't get too many um sneak ins hey can i bang on that guitar for two hours and talk your ear off and you know that type of thing and of course you've changed the 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 days around a little haven't you you you, you're shifting the focus a bit more pre sort of exhibition days there's more stuff going on on the tuesday and the wednesday and obviously we're, we're not we're not running four days we're running three in terms of actually the halls being open that's right isn't it yeah three days a hall so we went to a five-day show model uh overwhelmingly the the feedback was sunday is just not a, a effective day yeah it's like 78 percent of exhibitors had said look no sunday no sunday uh, a lot of folks, especially international, want to travel home already. Uh, so we said, okay, we need to move Sunday. So the question was, do we do exhibits Wednesday through Saturday, or do we just do exhibits Thursday, Friday, Saturday? It, it turns out, and again, this is an exhibitor decision. We surveyed, we surveyed, we talked to a lot of folks. If we have three days of really solid packed exhibits, like that's what they want. They want concentrated um, flow through the booths. And so that's where we, we we got to work and said, how do we create concentrated flow through the booths? Well, the other piece is we know that one of the bigger values of coming to NAM too is education and networking. So, you, you know, what we wanted to do is instead of packing everything in four days and competing with ourselves, we said, let's keep up the 30 minute type sessions throughout the day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but we want to make sure that we maximize exhibitor sessions. So exhibitors have sessions in their booths, they have sessions in their demo rooms, second and third floor. That's a lot of the content that you'll see throughout those days. Wednesday and, and Tuesday give us an opportunity to do more education, more network, an international reception with the associations, a global media day, product launches, meetings throughout the day, long form three hour education sessions where people can really roll up their sleeves and figure out what the heck am I gonna do with AI and all of this. So that, that's the balance. A five-day show, three days of exhibits, two days of pre-education, big product launches with the goal of maximizing three days of just action-packed booths. Mm. And, of course, I mean, we've all been there. We've all, we've all done the four days. If, you, if you're, you're going to get the same number of people over four days that you're going to get over three, and it's about then just being more efficient on the three days and making sure that you don't – because obviously the, the thing there is, am I going to miss somebody? You know, am I going to not get somebody to the booth that, because actually if they had four days, they'd have a bit longer. Now, my experience has always been that's not the case, that actually you get around all the booths you need to get around and you want to get around in the time that you have. So you're 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 supporting that, aren't you? That's that's what you're you're saying is that, look, you know what, run it for four days, run it for five days, run it for a week and a half. You're not going to get any more warm bodies in. Once you get past that three day point, you're just going to spread them out. That's all you're going to do. You're you're dead on. We looked historically at hotel nights, and and all the way through of even you know 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 19, 20, 20, all of that. It, it's always been Thursday, Friday, most of Saturday, and then Sundays a drop off. It's always been that way. Yeah. And even on my before I was in this role, I was you know exhibiting at Nam every year. I'd be meetings all day Thursday, meetings all day Friday. Most meetings Saturday, some of the executives already left, good meetings. And then Sunday, I'd finally just walk the floor a little bit, catch up some. It, it's always been the model. And it's also an expense. I mean, every show day is also an expense. And Sunday's an overtime day for labor and all of that stuff. So we're trying to cost down and control it. But we're not going to see any less opportunity on the hall. And, and it's also intentional by adding Tuesday and Wednesday. What we didn't want to do is pack more things to do on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, take away from the hall. So we're spreading it out. The other thing about the five-day show is what we're trying to go towards, and this is a, a one, you know, first year step towards that, is NAM week. Something really about, you know, the NAM show is, is yes, about those important relationships, but it is also about the entire world looking about new product releases, what's coming out, what's hot in the market. It is the one week a year where we can like celebrate music products and the world just geeks out over gear. And that's something that only happens during NAM week. So we create a week out of it. We create a media Wednesday, media day, everything, new products, electronic press kit dropping. We have so many embargoed releases. You know, people are releasing big, big, big news with big artists at the NAM show. And that's cool about NAM week. And there's no coincidence that it's right before Grammy week. So, you know, you get NAMI week right into Grammy week. You get <laughs> products, cool. you get artists, recording. I mean, the world celebrates music. It, it's not just about an exhibition on the floor. That's for the people who are there. But NAM week in five days is about the world thinking about musical products. 
But of course, from an international point of view, and certainly from a UK point of view, I mean, because obviously UK is still, what, outside of Canada, the biggest international um, sort of attending uh, country. Um, we we often arrive on the Monday and the Tuesday anyway. You're right, very few people from the UK, unless you've got to stand on a, on a booth because that's what you're doing, um, would have stayed on a Sunday. Um, you know, you'd have, you'd have disappeared off anyway. I know a lot of manufacturers for whom... Um, you know, you get sales guys going from the UK to stand on a US stand who would then disappear and not be there. You couldn't find anybody from the UK on a, on a, on a Sunday because essentially we, we've all disappeared. So to have something to do on the Tuesday and the Wednesday, you know, either this year or on the future is going to be fantastic. I mean, Wednesday's become a really important networking day for, for me when I'm there. And I use I, Wednesday's, you know, become a full day um in a way that sunday you know sunday never was actually much use really because anybody i wanted to see had probably worked the way home so so i think in that respect it's great and i'm really looking forward to see how the tuesday and the wednesday develop and how we can encourage more international stuff on 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 those days uh because i think it's a huge opportunity for some of the softer stuff that doesn't in, in, you know, doesn't involve the show floor and of course you know for for you and your your mia folks you know we have International reception Wednesday night, and that is that is new. That's an expansion. You know, we'll have our, our our little coalition meeting earlier in the day, but we're expanding out in the evening for you to have you know folks that you can invite to show up. We want to make sure that the the international leaders can all gather, know who's there. I think the importance of pulling networking forward is something else we've heard. The sooner you realize someone's there, the sooner you can maximize that opportunity. You know, you've been to Namshire, run into someone on Saturday, like, I didn't know you were here. Yeah. Oh, can you, okay. Well, or at okay, the okay, airport on the way I'll home. I'll you next week. If I'd have known, we would have hooked up two days ago. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we're trying to pull network forward. Again, it, it's strategically, we're trying to maximize the impact of, of Thursday, Friday, Saturday by pulling networking and, and larger meetings forward. And hopefully it works and we're going to continue trying it. But, you know, for us, we we just listen to members. I mean, all of this is because this is what members have said they want, and this is what they want out of the NAM show in the future. Hmm. So we're we're willing to try it. And I think folks, I think folks should get used to, you know, folks that are watching, you can hear from me directly, like, get used to NAM trying things. Because again, we have to be nimble for our industry. You know, we're not coming back and we're not thinking about a one size fits all product. Like the NAM show's back, here it is rinse and repeat every year, change the dates on the signage. Like that is not at all what we're doing. Every year, you know, I think of it like wine. I'll use my wine analogy. You know, it's like a vintage. You know, the 2025 has a vintage. And that vintage is based on the grapes and the climate and what grows and what you make of it. And what the industry deals with throughout 2025 will affect what the 2026 show is, you know, because we always want to create a show that's a springboard for that future year that's representative of the industry and representative of what opportunities and quite frankly challenges we face so be okay with a little little try this try that a little shift here because we want to we want to be relevant i don't think there's any doubt that's what we've seen certainly in the last couple of years that's absolutely what we've seen i mean you welcomed um uh, and, and made nam really sort of influencer friendly um mm -hmm. you know last year that was a, that was a real big thing of last year which which certainly seemed to to work as far as i could tell that's going to carry on this year i'm absolutely sure and and obviously i'm i'm thinking about the opportunities you'll have with the tuesday wednesday to also you know give give brands and influencers time to meet each other and do and do sort of these kind of meet and greet sessions and and, and what and take almost a little bit of the randomness out of somebody just appearing on a booth and hoping to meet the right person to start a relationship off there's plenty of opportunity for all that kind of matchmaking on those on those days and i think that's something that that nam can you know can, can take a hand in and do quite quite nicely so i'm really excited about about everything that comes along one one final question before uh, before we go and thank you very much for your time obviously if people are now thinking about last minute plans thinking about booking flights where are we things like hotels or is there still hotel availability through the the you know the nam absolutely there's 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 hotel availability through nam and again we just passed the um the i forget what it's called the drop date where everyone all the exhibitors and all the priority folks get to hold their blocks yeah. but the reservation date just passed so that's when the blocks shift and things open up so yes there's hotels in the nam portal uh one of the good and challenging things about Anaheim is there's there's plenty of hotels outside of our portal as well. And they all sort of compete and they're all now, you know, they're all about 
the same price, give or take ten, twenty dollars. They're all there, so there's plenty of plenty of space around Anaheim and plenty of space to stay. I will say that the that the who's who of everyone in our industry is going to be at the NAMM show. Like this is like people are there, and there's there's going to be a lot of opportunity. And the really the focus, you know, we see the NAMM show not as a celebration and a reunion of the previous year, but as an accelerant of future years. And I would say if anyone is on the fence of the NAM show, like we are intentionally from the education to the networking, to the schedule, all we talk about in this office is how does this show make our industry stronger throughout 2025? And the purpose of coming to the NAM show in our minds and everything we're doing about it is that you come to have a stronger business. And so I look long term, you know, heaven forbid we have another pandemic or something that prevents or, or, or it's another strain on our industry. When our industry was strained, a lot of people pulled out of the NAM show. I I think long term ahead, the NAM show should be what saves our industry, what brings our industry together. When the industry is strained, you should come to the NAM show because that helps your business survive and grow. And so I don't. I never want to see and, and build a NAM show that's only there if our industry is doing well. It has to help companies. They're investing time, money, hotels, flights, meals, all of those expenses. They have to have ROI, and our commitment is giving that ROI. So if you're on the fence of the NAM show because you're not sure if it's needed, we're doing everything we can to make sure it's going to make your business stronger. That is perfect. Thanks, John. Uh, you're very kind. Uh, we'll get this out to you, everybody, so you can see this in the next in few days. And if you have any questions at all, get in touch with MIA. Or, or, or do you know what? Tell us that we can't answer it. You need to speak to John, and we'll get the message to John as well. It's absolutely fine. Well, we appreciate you, Anthony. We appreciate MIA. You guys have been such strong, amazing partners. We we I love the the time, the opportunity to speak to your your group here. And yes, if you have any questions, text Anthony late at night. Thanks, John.